Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea. The year is 1947, and we wish to bring you all the latest news and goings-on from the 48 United States and foreign lands. Friday, January the 3rd. Proceedings of the U.S. Congress are televised for the first time. Monday, January the 17th. Propaganda, the voice of America, begins to transmit radio broadcasts into the Soviet Union. Friday, January the 21st. In New York City, Edwin Land demonstrates the first instant camera, the Polaroid Land Camera, to a meeting of the Optical Society of America. Saturday, March the 1st, the International Monetary Fund begins financial operations. Wednesday, March the 12th, the Truman Doctrine is proclaimed to help stem the spread of communism. Friday, March the 28th, the last episode of the Buck Rogers and the 25th Century program airs on the radio. Friday, April the 11th, Jackie Robinson is the first African American to play in a modern day Major League Baseball game. Sunday, April the 27th, Babe Ruth Day is celebrated at Yankee Stadium. Saturday, May the 3rd, new post-war Japanese constitution goes into effect. Wednesday, May the 7th, Kraft Television Theater debuts, running for the next 11 years. Thursday, June the 5th, Marshall Plan. At a speech at Harvard University, United States Secretary of State George Marshall calls for economic aid to war-torn Europe. Tuesday, June the 10th, Saab produces its first automobile. Monday, July 7th, downed UFO believed to be found at the Roswell UFO incident. Thursday, July the 29th. ENIAC, the world's first all-electronic digital computer, is reactivated after a memory upgrade. Monday, August the 4th, the Supreme Court of Japan is established. Thursday, August the 14th, Pakistan gains independence from the United Kingdom. Friday, August the 15th, India gains independence from Britain. Jawaharlal Nehru takes office as the first Prime Minister of India. Saturday, August the 23rd, the Maynard Midgets beat Lock Haven 16-7 to win the first ever Little League World Series Championship. Tuesday, September the 9th, first actual case of a computer bug being found. A moth lodges in a relay of a Mark II computer at Harvard University. Friday, September the 12th, the U.S. Screen Actors Guild implements an anti-communist loyalty oath. Sunday, October the 5th, the first televised White House address is given by U.S. President Harry S. Truman. Thursday, November the 6th, Meet the Press makes its television debut. Thursday, November 20th, Princess Elizabeth marries Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten at Westminster Abbey in London. Saturday, November the 29th, the United Nations General Assembly votes to partition Palestine between Arabs and Jews. Wednesday, December the 3rd, Tennessee Williams' play A Streetcar Named Desire opens on Broadway. Sunday, December the 14th, NASCAR is founded. Thursday, December the 25th, the Constitution of the Republic of China goes into effect. Saturday, December the 27th, Howdy Doody, a children's television program, makes its debut on NBC. Tuesday, December the 30th, King Michael of Romania abdicates the throne. But of course, the most significant event of 1947 took place on March 22nd. Baby boy Alan Michael was born to Samuel and Francis Hirschman of Linden, New Jersey. And in those 60 years since that momentous event, the world has never been the same. World Fake Old Timey News is brought to you tonight by the makers of Camel High Class Cigarettes. In a recent survey, more doctors named Camel as their smoke than any other cigarette. Yes, a doctor too smokes for pleasure. Full flavor, coolness and mildness mean just as much to him as they do to any other smoker. Smoke Camels and see for yourself. The T-Zone test will tell you. The T-Zone, that's T for taste and T for throat, is your own laboratory for any cigarette. For only your taste and your throat can decide which cigarette tastes best to you and how it agrees with your throat. On the basis of the experience of many, many millions of smokers, we believe camels will suit your T-Zone to a T. This has been a Fake World Old Timey News Broadcast.